talking about drinks this morning. We're going to get you moving on your drinks, Jamie. Well, that's when you go ahead and you grab a sports drink, maybe a soda. You look at the back. It says sugar, 77 grams. What does that actually mean? The city of Minneapolis wants to get you moving on that idea this Monday with the new campaign, Rethink Your Drink. Vish Vansani with the Minnesota Health Department is here with us this morning. And I think that's so true. Like, you pick it up, yep. you look at the back, you, you can see the mm -hmm. total number of milligrams mm -hmm. or grams. But what does that mean? So you have kind of a little demonstration here. We do. This is a display board that we take out into the community quite a bit. And it's a good way to make what's invisible in your bottle visible by showing the amount of sugar that's in a lot of popular sugary drinks. And you start down here and you see this Zoo Juice, which, you know, yep. I mean, so many parents, I think, will give their kids juice. Yep. If you saw this and thought you're going to hand over the, this much sugar, yep. boy, it gives you pause, doesn't it's it? pretty shocking. And a lot of the times with marketing, this may come off as 100% juice, but it just says 100% vitamin C. Sure. And one little bottle alone has 40 grams of sugar, which is the equivalent of wow. about 10 teaspoons of sugar in this one bottle. Why is it so hard to just drink water? I mean, you look at all the choices up here, and it, right. it, you know, automatically right. you'd think to grab one of these other things we should just be having water it's easy it's easy to sure. choose sugary drinks they're literally everywhere you go and they're cheaper and portion sizes are a lot larger and experts have identified now that sugary drinks are the single largest contributor of calories and added sugar in our diet and children and youth have been drinking quite a bit as well they estimate a kid between the age of 12 to 19 years old has about a gallon of pop a week Ooh. Sure. which is a lot and it sounds like a lot but you think on, on a day-to-day -day basis if right. you have one Gatorade and one right. regular sugary soda right. there you go right right and this kind of puts it into perspective so if you look at a bottle of coke which has about 65 grams that's about 16 to 17 teaspoons of sugar and the average adult should have no more than about 26 grams of sugar which wow. is about in a day in a day and Drinking just one bottle alone puts you at least two to three times above your limit. Wow. So there's a health component to this, but why does right. the city of Minneapolis care if we're drinking tap water? They have been, I think the city's been very aggressive. At, you go to events and you see the tap right. water set up. Well, why does the city care about this? Well, the city of Minneapolis has one of the best tap waters in the nation. It's clean, it's safe, it's great tasting, it's economical because you don't have to choose bottled. Sure. And a lot of events, if you've been out into the community, you'll see Minneapolis tap set up so people have easier access to choose ice cool tap water. Yeah, yeah, it does make a difference. You look it at this, does. if you can eliminate, you know, Just two bags those, or yeah. one bag of these out of your diet every right. day, that's, uh, that's a would be significant. big right. difference, yeah. That's why you got to rethink your drink, right? Right, we're actually hosting an official kickoff event this Wednesday, July 1st, at the IDS building, which is on Nicolette Mall. And we'll have an opportunity to talk to people who attend the event and tell them about sugary drinks, show them through a display and other interactive activities how much sugar is in a lot of popular drinks, and even give people an opportunity to taste test some healthier options that we'll be making. Perfect. Well, Vish, thank yeah. you so much. That event, as you said, Wednesday at 11.30 a.m. Yes, at IDS. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. Thanks so much. Thank we'll you see you so back much. again in our 6 o'clock hour. You know, when people head to the lakes or to the parks, a lot of times they might grab uh, an easy uh, bottle of soda or a sports drink. And when you look at the label, you can see right on there, this says 77 grams of sugar. I know, but what does that mean? I have, it, what I is have that? no idea. So the city of Minneapolis wants to get you moving on that idea this Monday with the new campaign, Rethink Your Drink. Vish Rasani with the Minneapolis Health Department is with us this morning. And we started with this Mountain Dew. Yep. Look, everybody knows that Mountain Dew is not your number one health drink. Right. But 77 grams of sugar, I don't, I don't know, is that a little or a lot? So this is a display board that we take out into the community to show everyone and show residents how much sugar is in a lot of usual suspect sugary drinks. And it's not just pop and soda. It includes sports drinks, energy drinks, and juice drinks that may come off as healthy. And just one bottle alone, if we look at like Coke, which is extremely popular, has 65 grams of sugar, which is close to about 16 to 17 teaspoons of sugar in this one bottle. And for the average adult, you want no more than about 24 to 36 grams a day. That's your recommended limit. But when just, you look at the label, right. it says it's got like the percentage of carbs and it says 22%. Right. So that's what's kind of confusing, I think. Even if you really closely read the label, it doesn't right. say what percent of sugar you should have. Right. There's no daily value recommended percentage. And yeah. that's something that 
nationally we're trying to change so people have a better idea of what their limit is and so what we're showing people is just how much sugar is in popular drinks and asking them to read the grams and get into the habit of reading the grams and knowing that your limit is no more than about 24 to 36 a day. So I, one drink just exceeds it by two to three. Wow, I think yeah. we do a lot of talking though about soda pop and yeah. you don't think sometimes about the other drink. I mean, you even yep. have juice up here, right? which I mean, as a parent, don't you just kind of go and grab for that every once in a while and yep. think I'm giving the healthier option, but there's still plenty of sugar Mm -hmm. When people think juice, they just automatically assume that it's healthy to no fault of their own. But you want to again read this one right here is a popular ju zoo juice and it just is 100% vitamin C, not 100% juice. So again, that's marketing. You read the 100% and you're like, oh, it's healthy. I'm going to grab right. it. But in fact, it's just liquid and sugar and coloring. And this one little bottle alone has 10 teaspoons of sugar, mm. which is about 40 grams. So it's quite quite the amount. So we're supposed to drink water, but come on, water yeah. is so boring. So there's fun <laughs> ways that you can kind of dress up your water. And we're launching our campaign this Wednesday, July 1st at 1130 in the IDS building, which is on Nicolette. And one thing that we'll be serving there is fruit infused water okay. as a way to make water a little bit more exciting because people do think it's not tasty, it's boring. Sure. Um, and that's one way that you can make it a little bit more exciting. Toss in your favorite fruit or some cucumbers, let it chill and creates that sweet flavor that you might get from other sweet beverages sure. without the added sugar. What we've done in our house with our kids is just simply you don't give them the choice. It's like, would you yeah. like water or milk? That's it. Yeah. And so Boy, sometimes they fight. <laughs> yeah, we're the worst. But you're not saying, I mean, sometimes no. you can have these things as an occasional treat, but right. if you're doing it once, twice a day, right. that's a public health problem. Which is why we're launching this campaign is that these drinks are no longer special treats. They've become the default beverage people consume right. every day and don't realize how much sugar is in. ending up in their body and they're consuming at the end of the day. So we're lucky with Minneapolis. We have one of the best tap water in the we nation. Do. So you can just carry around a water bottle, refill it and go, and you're good to go. Fish, thanks, thanks so fish. much. Yeah, thank you so it. much. We appreciate it. Good luck Wednesday at the big event.